WTFNN. Headline news update. Here's Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We had the Dow Industrials finish up nine tenths, uh, up 90 points. NASDAQ up 25. S&P's up 8.5. That's a gain of three-tenths of 1%. And the Dow Industrials, as well as the composite, and uh, four-tenths of 1% in the S&P 500. Gold contract down at $21, trading $12.95. Now, gold got hit hard. Uh, 400,000 contracts down there. We're coming into a Friday, so uh, that swing low um, is kind of sticking out here, folks. We'll see whether that's going to get whacked tomorrow morning or, in fact, they uh, break right through it because you're right next to it right now. We didn't hit it out here today, but we basically laid right next to it. We got down to 1393. Uh, 13, uh, uh, 1293 rather, 1287 is the number. And I suspect we're going to at least try to get into that number tomorrow. Now, what has happened is that uh, if you take a look at the, the volume characteristic, it's a big volume. That being said, what you are going into is the large volume from March 1st uh, also. If you take, go over and take a look at the GLD, um, that characteristic looks pretty good, actually. We came down 11.4 million. That last low was established out there at 16.4. Uh, we're right into it, though. So, And into it uh, coming on a Thursday into a Friday uh, is basically saying the probability gets much higher that you're going to get down and test that level. Silver, uh, silver's a problem. Silver broke a B point today, has the uh, volume on the break, and silver looks like, okay, you're going to 1435. Right now you're at 1498. If that's the case, uh, what we're going to see out here Tomorrow, uh, inside the currency markets, inside the euro, as well as the pound, is we're going to see those continue uh, into lower price. And what that is all about and will be all about uh, is that uh, Theresa May is going to try to uh, gamble one last ditch vote. That one last ditch vote is going to be tomorrow. And if she can't get this through, uh, bottom line is that uh, they're either going to do a hard Brexit on April 12th or they're going to come in for a huge extension and we're talking about like an extension they're talking about like between the year year and a half and uh there's going to be a lot of uh very disappointed people in the uk uh that's for sure recap out here dow industrials finished up 91 nasdaq up 25 s p's up nine and a half stay right there folks come right back